We begin with this breaking story in development. A Korean ship with hundreds of passengers on board has sunk off the country's southwestern coast. Now, among the 474 people on board, 320 were students who were traveling with several teachers to the resort island of Jeju. The Coast Guard has confirmed that there are at least two deaths so far, with one just being added that of a student, so three deaths so far. And the distress signal from the ferry was sent from at around 9 a.m. local time, which is roughly five hours ago. Now, for the latest, our Connie Kim joins us live. Uh, Connie, what is the uh, latest on that front? Yes, Kanya, we're getting conflicting reports at this hour about the number of passengers who have been rescued from the Seoro ferry, which sank some 20 kilometers off the coast of Chindo Island in southwestern Korea. The South Korean Navy is reporting that two people, a 22 year old woman and a male passenger, have died. As of just a few moments ago, authorities have confirmed that 352 passengers have been rescued safely, with 107 people still unaccounted for. One of those rescued is in critical condition at hospital. Uh, so, Connie, tell us about the uh, rescue operations that have been uh, underway there. Well, 20 naval vessels and five aircraft are on the scene with around 170 rescue personnel. President Park Geun-hye has ordered that all Navy, Coast Guard and nearby vessels fully utilize their personnel, equipment and rescue ships to help with the efforts. Oh, now, do we know uh, the possible cause of this accident? Well, although the exact cause of the accident is unclear, officials from the Oceans Ministry say there's a high possibility that the passenger ship ran into a rock due to foggy weather. The people who were rescued say they heard a loud bumping sound but aren't sure if it came from inside the liner or from bumping into a rock. Authorities say the water temperature right now stands at around 12 degrees Celsius. They add that people can survive in waters at that temperature for about two hours, which is important considering it's now been five hours since the ship first sent out its distress call. Currently, the rescue teams are waiting for the tidal currents to weaken and plan to go into the vessel. All right, we will continue to monitor the situation and report on any new developments, while of course wishing for the very best. Connie Kim, thank you for that report.